Hello, I'm Marianne Plunkett. And I'm Jay O. Sanders. And we're both proud members of Actors' Equity. Um, we both worked countless off-Broadway contracts over the years, and we consider off-Broadway to be our theatrical and artistic home. And I'm honored to be part of a community of actors and stage managers that is large and diverse and talented and passionate and generous. Uh, we work in a profession we love and we are very, very willing to donate our time and our talents, and we do, to different um, endeavors, um, fundraising events, etc. But it seems that when it comes to full productions, what needs to be recognized is that what we do is our job, it's our profession. Um, it's not a it, it is not a, a part-time endeavor or a hobby. Now because of the structure of most theaters here and the seasons, uh, most often it is probably a um, temporary job, but it's far from part-time and we have worked and trained hard and long. But it seems when um, budgets are drawn up for uh, season's plays, it seems many times that the actors are somewhat of an afterthought. And people who are working at the height of their talents, um, they shouldn't be faced with the prospect of um, not being able to pay their rent or even in some cases going into bankruptcy if they choose to take a job. We are, all of us, working together to try to create something that is recognized and good. Now, we're not asking for the moon or the stars. I think a living wage is enough. So please, let's all try to work together with respect and understanding and honesty to achieve that goal. I think that's only fair. Last summer marked um, 40 years that I've been in this business. I started off Broadway at Shakespeare in the Park working with Joe Papp and many, many other people, many of whom I still cross paths with off Broadway uh, and many other parts of the business. Because the one reality in our business is that we're not paid enough working off Broadway to subsidize our lives. So instead we're forced to subsidize the theater. Um, we've had to work in voiceovers, film, television, whatever we can find in order to make enough money to make up for what we're not making off Broadway. That doesn't work for bringing young actors, real new talent, exciting actors into the fold, letting them grow, letting them work with us and new writers to develop these important voices of the theater. They're heading off to, to uh, heading off to the... Uh, young actors are heading out to Los Angeles, to films, to television, to places where they can make a living wage. And Off-Broadway is going to suffer if we don't do something about it. Um, we love what we do. We're committed to what we do. If we could, we would be doing it with a company full time, but those companies don't exist anymore. Um, we are joining with our stage managers and fellow Actors' Equity members to ask for a rebalance in the way the system is, a rethinking of how we put together budgets and plan our seasons so that we can continue to do great work but so the actors who are in them can afford to have lives, have families, pay their rent, pay off student loan, all those other things that people have to do in the real world. We're looking for something special now because all of us have finally come together to say enough is enough. Forty years I've been doing what I had to do to work where I want to be. I would like to think that the people behind us, the young actors, are able to do what they want to do and follow in our footsteps and be able to afford a life. I say, let's make it fair. Fair, fair wage, wage on, on stage. stage. Thank you.